What's going on guys? My name is Nick from Make It Mazio, and today we're going to be building a uh, spinning puzzle table. Um, well, it's actually just going to be the top uh, of a table, so um, this is going to be something that she can put on her dining room table, and it will spin so that she can access either side of the puzzle easier. I'm going to be using half inch plywood, um, basically just making a frame, and then I have, I got this Lazy Susan hardware um, that will go on the bottom and make, uh, enable it to spin. So yeah, I'm going to get to that, and then I'm going to do the minor cuts, followed by putting it all together, and then do some circular saw cuts on the piece of plywood that will be the table. Alright, cool. Sorry for my super awkward way of speaking, but basically here I'm cutting down my material. Um, I buy everything bigger than it needs to be so that I can have extra, but you can easily buy this all from um, the home center the exact size that you need it. Um, and here I'm just measuring out the tabletop uh, width and height. Now I am measuring the frame and I always forget which way the miter cuts need to go so I marked it there and then chopped them up. Alright, so I'm now going to give the top of the what will be the table um, a quick coat of primer and then white spray paint. Um, I just like to get it nice and smooth. I think I can get it a little smoother with the spray than I can with the brush. So I chose this option. First the primer, and now if you can't tell, that's the white going on there. And then there was a little crack there, so I filled that in with some putty and painted over it. Okay, so now I'm going to be working on the frame, and um, I'm just going to sand this down. I'm going to glue up the frame, put some brad nails in it, and then I will put it around the board. After choosing what side I wanted to be on the bottom, I marked um, how big the half inch plywood is on the bottom of that so that I can drill directly into these boards and then know that I'm going to hit the plywood right in the middle. I'm going to use the masking tape as clamps here uh, because I think that that's the best way to do minor joints. And then I put some tape on the uh, faces so that no glue gets on them and ruins the stain later on. And then tack them together with some brad nails. So after everything, um, the top is still a little too big for the frame. So I'm going to trim that down just a tiny bit. I think the most accurate way to do this is on the table saw. So I'll show you how I do it real quick. Um, when I make a mistake, we gotta figure it out. So I'm just clamping a scrap piece of wood here and then running the board against a sacrificial fence so that it just takes off a tiny sliver. So this is gonna be the bottom of the piece and I'm gonna put the Lazy Susan hardware onto this. Um, I'm gonna cut this down to size, put the Lazy Susan hardware on and I'll show you more about that in a second. And now I'm just cutting down the board. Um, this is my new circular saw actually. It's made by DeWalt and you can check down in the links below. I'll link to um, an Amazon link to it so you can get one yourself. And I poured way too much paint on here and that was a mistake. You'll see why in a second. So yeah, I had to use some paper towels, wipe all of, off that paint because it was all dusty and dirty, and then uh, recoat it a little bit. Well, painting this piece of wood was actually a nightmare, um, but I think that turned out good. I'm just going to sand it down real quick, put another coat of paint on it, and then this part's good. It's the bottom part, it's not going to be shown very much. Now that all the boards are prepped, I can work on finishing off the frame, and I put some stain on there, and I thought that color looked really good against the white, which you'll see in a minute. The 
next day. Got some new clothes, got a haircut, look a little different, but I promise you it's only one day. I'm gonna do some measurements, I'm gonna put the Lazy Susan hardware on. Uh, I'm gonna drill holes in this bottom board and you'll see why in a second. So this is really interesting to me. Um, I looked up some different ways of doing this and um, so here I am drilling a hole where the screw will be and I pop out that uh, little piece there. Marking for center here. And now after I screw the Lazy Susan hardware, you can see here that that hole lines up with the hole on the underside so that I can screw it into that other piece. I can really get used to this whole spinning thing. It's really easy. You're in focus, boo boo. You're recording. You start recording now. Yeah, just come in here. Jennifer called us and said that you were wanting something, but so Nick made it for you. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Pretty cool. Things are expensive too. When you're looking at Bob Michael. That's awesome. Can I ask for you one next right? <laughs> <laughs> I can build it, so I said, yeah. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah, that, thank you. Oh. Wow. Well, I think Nana was pretty happy with her puzzle table. Um, this was a fun build. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to make, create, and do what you love. Bye, guys.